Hack slash resurrection issue number 11. Feels like I just did a hack slash video, uh, video. but uh, yeah, here's the newest hack slash. Um, I guess the cover is getting better <laughs> than the previous ones. Uh, I mean, at least the women actually look like women in this. Uh, even though it is kind of a weird, I don't know why Vampirella is in it. Like this is not Cassie, and this is not Vlad. This is supposed to be, I guess, Cassie's aunt, or great aunt, or whatever, and I don't know who the hell that guy is. I mean, he does appear in the comic very briefly, and then he dies. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is number 11, so Return to Haverhill, part 4, and actually the end of Return to Haverhill arc. Um, so, yeah, I guess we start off with the flashback, where we have Cassie's aunt in the Wild West, um, talking with her... Uh, not Vlad teammates, uh, partner about uh, hunting down vampires, and then he basically goes outside, and uh, yeah, she goes to uh, she goes out to the horse, notices he's gone, checks inside the outhouse, and he's dead. And then we cut back to the present, where uh, yeah, she wakes up and basically um, goes out to help Cassie, and um, man, is this she just kind of, I don't know, <laughs> like, Cassie has fought so many freaking creatures and monsters, not just slashers, but she's fought, like, demons, she's fought, like, so many horrific beasts, and she gets bested by two vampires who her aunt easily beats, well, I mean, she kind of easily gets rid of them by throwing a Molotov cocktail, and then, um, yeah, you'll see later on, I'll, I'll come back to, to, to that about Cassie's, um, kind of doing nothing. So, uh, yeah, Ant comes, saves the day, Vlad, uh, Cassie takes Vlad, takes him outside, they go to, uh, her aunt's house, uh, where they're safe because the sun comes up. And, uh, hey, we get a funny moment where, oh, she wakes him up with smelling salt. No, it's not smelling salt, it's actually a werewolf tampon. Yeah, um, I don't know why she would have werewolf tampons, but, uh, she does, which is weird, but whatever, so, um, basically they realize that, uh, this vampire has shared blood with Vampirella, which means that she has some of Vampirella's powers, one of those powers being, um, basically mind control. And so they realize, okay, what's the best place for her to go if she wants to mind control a bunch of people in tournaments of vampires? It'll be the um, the carnival, the last day of the carnival. So they uh, they all go up to the carnival, where um, basically Cassie's aunt is the only one that takes anything seriously. She's like, all right, I'm gonna basically walk around the perimeter, putting garlic everywhere to keep the vampires from being able to escape. Like, they won't be able to cross the garlic. And then um, she's like, all right, you keep your eyes open. And as soon as she disappears, they're like, oh, you want to play some carnival games? Yes. And they go and play carnival games. And that's basically what they do for uh, <laughs> most of the issue. Like, no joke. So, okay. So, uh, yeah. Her aunt uh, gets attacked by vampires. Uh, she usually kills one off. And then she sends a message to Cassie that, hey, vampires are coming your way. Um... And they're in the middle of playing the, uh, I forgot what the other game is called, the one where you shoot a uh, water gun and you have to like blow up a clown balloon. Um, and the vampires are coming and she asks a nearby priest to bless their um, their gun so that it basically turns into holy water. Now this was kind of weird. Okay, so right here, obviously you can see that they're using the gun to shoot in front of them. And as you can see, the gun is stuck to the table, so they can't. They can't swivel the gun really, other than just side to side. Like they can't, you know, shoot it behind them or anything. So, from this panel, as you can see from the desk, they're shooting in front of them. Yet over here, the uh, vampires are coming up from the side and a little bit from behind. So basically, if this is the table and they're shooting this way, the vamps are coming from over here. So how did they all of a sudden, the vamps just decided to go like this? Just so they, you know, they have a clear shot at them? I don't know, it's just, it's just a very weird, laid out 
series of panels. <laughs> like maybe if the vampires, like you see them like destroying the balloons or whatever as they're rushing towards because they're coming from the front, but you literally see them coming from the side. So, and as you can see, they're not like just holding up the guns. Like the guns are literally attached to the table. And as you can see with the table in front of them, they're not shooting sideways. They're literally shooting in front of them. So how do you get... I don't know. This is a nitpick. It's a continuity thing, but it just it bugs the crap out of me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. They take out the vampires with water guns. And then uh, they realize, hey, we found uh, where the where Vampirella and the head vampire are. They're in the haunted house. Get it? Because it's the most obvious place to be. And then... Um, I'm not going to show the rest because, you know, copyright reasons and stuff like that. But literally, uh, Cassie gets thrown into a casket and does nothing. That's not, she, she literally like does nothing in this fight. Um, Cassie's aunt does everything. So basically, um, yeah, basically Cassie's aunt is the, the hero of the day. Uh, she's the one that fights off the, she's the one that, who saves Cassie and Vlad. She's the one that holds off the vampires. She's the one who, uh, at the carnival, she keeps the vampires inside. So she keeps them from leaving. She kills a couple of them. Um, she's the one that discovers where the head vampire and Vampirella are hiding. Meanwhile, through all this, Cassie's eater about to get killed. She is making cracks. She is, uh playing games with Vlad or she's getting her ass thrown into a casket and letting everyone else do all the work. And that's basically this issue. This issue is basically Cassie does nothing <laughs> and everyone does everything for her. Which, um, I mean, it's highly disappointing because Cassie is my favorite comic book character and you literally just have her just kind of get punked out by everybody. It's very, um, like, I'm not one of those where, like, she has to constantly be destroying everything, and it's fine that if she has help, but, I mean, she literally, like, other than shooting a couple vampires in the face with a water gun, um, she literally does nothing in this whole entire issue. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> that was kind of disappointing. Um, but that's Hack Slash Resurrection. Um, another thing that's, um, interesting, uh... Is there any way I can actually show it? Okay, let me just... Because I don't want to reveal the whole thing. I'm just going to reveal... So that's how... Um, if it will focus... No, it won't focus. But basically, it says the end. So I'm wondering, was this the end of the of the series? I had to look it up, but it turns out that it's not. So maybe they should... I don't know. They should say something like... Um, like, you know, Haver... Uh, Return to Haverhill, the end. Um, but Vlad and Cassie's adventures continues in the next issue. I don't know because I, for a moment, was like, "Oh, did this like was that it?" But no, I guess there, there's there's more. Uh, so I had to look that one up though to see if there was actually going to be an issue twelve. And the cover for issue twelve actually looks pretty damn awesome. It actually, looks like a throwback to the classic hack slash. Phone doesn't like ever want to focus. Looks like an actual throwback to the um, classic hack slash uh, covers, so at least in art style and stuff. But um, but yeah, that's hack slash resurrection, hack slash resurrection issue number eleven. Um, we'll see. Like 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 I've said in previous stuff, like hack slash resurrection is basically like this. It started up here. This is like mostly my expectations and stuff since I'm a huge hack slash fan, and then it just plummeted and then slowly but surely it's kind of gone up a little bit but it's still like really way down here like my expectations for every issue are still kind of low but at least they're slowly getting better i still think um a better writer would would definitely help um and nothing against uh sea lore or cell lore. Um, I have nothing against this art style. I just don't feel like it fits with Hack Slash. I feel like this art style could be for something else instead. Um, 
yeah, I'd rather have someone else. Someone with a little bit more of, um, less cartoony, more realistic style. Basically like the, uh, the previous, uh, um, series. Like the original Hackslash. Um, but yeah, um, not really a fan of Teeny Howard on this. Uh, Teeny Howard isn't a terrible writer at all. Uh, I loved her, uh, what was it? Um, Rick and Morty, Pocket Like You Stole It. She she did uh, that, and um, I did a couple videos on that uh, series on this uh, channel. And that series is actually really good. I liked it. But um, I just, I just, I feel like she's not a good fit for Hackslash. Um, characters are just kind of out of st uh, out of character. No one really acts the way that they should. Um, just, I don't know. I'm not feeling the humor. The humor sometimes feels a bit off. I'm not, I mean, there should be humor in Hackslash, but it should be like gallows humor, dark humor, kind of. And those stuff here just feels more LOL random at times. Um, I think, I forgot his name, but whoever did uh, uh, Vampirella, Hackslash versus Vampirella, that crossover miniseries, I think will probably do a better job. But yeah, that's Hackslash Resurrection. It's what it is. All right, see if I can show this. So um, I kind of have to hold the video this way so I don't reveal the ending of uh, Hackslash. But I kind of want to show there's a preview for Exorcisters, which I probably will check out even though it looks terrible just because it has like supernatural stuff. But look at this art style. Like, I don't know. I'm, just, I'm not feeling it. But yeah, basically this lady uh, is about to get married when I guess the devil shows up and takes her husband away. And these sisters who I guess fight demons, I guess they're supposed to be like charmed, uh, show up and then, oh, we got the professional one and then we got the one that's drinking all the booze. Uh, her, her. Um, and then, oh, look, they're doing like research on the fiance, the groom that was just kidnapped. Oh, does, is there any weird porn on his laptop? No, there's no porn at all. Wow, that's creepy. Agreed. This is image in 2018. <laughs> Like, I mean, the idea is interesting of, like, you know, the extra sisters and two sisters that, like, do supernatural, solve supernatural crimes. All right, that's cool. That's something, like, right up my alley, but this just looks really bad. I might have to check it out just to see if it is a train wreck or if I'm just judging it based off this little preview. But it's just, it's not looking good. <laughs> but, yeah, uh... There we go. That's Hack Slash Resurrection from Image Comics. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyone following Hack Slash Resurrection, tell me what you think. Um, have you guys been reading this series? Have you guys just given up? Um, there have been plenty of times I've almost given up. I mean, you guys know about this. I've almost given up on this series, and I've just kind of stuck with it because I'm like, too big a fan of Hack Slash. And I'm just kind of like, well, I mean, I'm already... I'm already this far in, might as well just keep going till the end. Plus, I mean, you know, if it's terrible, then, you know, it gives me a comic to roast. And if it's good, then, yay, it's a good hack slash comic. So, either way, I guess I can't go wrong. But yeah, um, tell me what you guys think. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Uh, hit that bell for notification. If you guys like the video, leave a like. Uh, leave a comment down below. Um, share this with uh, other people within the community, friends, family members, you know, tweet out a uh, video. Like, if you guys can help the channel grow in that way, that's awesome. There's also, like, PayPal and Patreon, but um, I always feel weird plugging those, and you guys really don't have to do that. Like, I just help spread the word on this channel. is like, more than enough. Um, I also have a Twitch account. I'm kind of taking a break just because the weather is, like, way too hot to be uh, playing, but I will probably most likely get back into streaming games on there, uh, like, around October. So if you guys are interested in that, uh, you can find a link below, uh, to that below in the info box. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time. Later.